Hello Camping World and anybody else that happens to be a fan of fans. I know some people like a fan in the tent like I do, especially when it's warm or hot and you can't sleep without some air circulating. So I made a fan that puts out a lot of air and lasts well past eight hours. That's very important. Who wants to wake up in the middle of the night and your fans done died? If you know what I mean. Oh, here comes Fatty. Look, Fatty. Meow, meow. He's going to be on YouTube in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to go over uh, quickly how I put this one together and this one. Uh, I don't know the specifics can't remember the specifics of amperage and whatnot out of my head but here we go these are both uh, fans that blow air into the engine well of a boat you can use them for anything this bigger one is a 320 cubic feet per minute uh, air fan high efficiency uh, I got a regular lawnmower battery, $25 uh, if you turn in the core, uh, 30 if you don't, or maybe 35 I can't remember. Uh, right here is a 110 volt light switch. You will need this, of course, to cut the power to the fan on and off and to this variable resistor the fan motor speed controller uh, that will pull very minimal current even when it's off because it's a relay so that's another reason why I put this switch right here so it can be completely turned off but anyway here's some foam pad one-sided two-sided sticky side you don't it doesn't matter but I put that between the fan and the battery to help secure the fan and to keep any to the battery and to keep any vibration noise down. I used two big large, I think they're 48 inch plastic ties. The and you tighten them down as just as hard as you can. Then you'll stuff this light switch behind the ties to make it really tight. I mean this thing will not move around, okay? It's in there, well it's moving but barely. Uh, and there's a fuse. I always fuse any electronics. Uh, the variable resistor, I can't tell you uh, now what model it is. I'm gonna put a description for all the parts underneath the video. Uh, that I'm making here but oh, before I forget I put a little ten dollar voltmeter capacity meter and used uh, some two-sided Gorilla sticky tape to attach there. Uh, the terminals for the battery are exposed so you put whatever kind of charger you want to this battery to keep it charged up charge it as slow as possible I'm not going to go into this too much. I thought I, was, I thought I already said that, but it looks like I am. Uh, anyway, if there's any questions or comments uh, that you would like to share, send them my way. And who carries a fan, a heavy fan around, unless you have a carry handle made a carry handle and I will operate it now I don't have anything to show uh, how fast the wind will blow out of this thing uh, but it's very strong and of course you wouldn't turn it up high when you camp out in the tent because uh, it would it just is too much and it, it probably wouldn't as last of course it won't last as long 
on a high setting. But anyway, here is the speed controller on this side, just a knob. And this is the fan. Let's see. I don't know what the numbers are on this thing. Zero to ten. You put it on four, and that'll be enough air for everybody in the tent. That's on full blast. Let's see, this might be able to show, give you an indication of how powerful it is. That's a long way off, and it's blowing. It's not even directly what it is now. That's the fan blowing my curtains, not my curtains, my sheet around. It's pretty far away. I forgot how many amps this thing draws. Five amps, maybe, at full blast. I'll give you an indication of what kind of fuse you would like to use. And again, there's the uh, real tight plastic ties. This uh, variable fan, the motor, the speed motor, there's a light that you know that it's on. That's kind of neat to have uh, in the tent. I kind of put a red glow in the tent. I hate not being able to find things in the tent in the middle of the night. Like my water I want to drink. Or my shoes when I walk outside. Anyway, that's that. Variable. Variable very high speed fan very nice you turn it down low and it will put you to sleep and give you good air all night long and this one I think pulls half the amps is the bigger one still puts out more air than you'll need everything is built the same way uh, except this time just for the fun of it I put the knob facing upward uh, and this one makes more noise but where you'd have it to sleep at and get enough air it's not loud at all I also have a fan behind me blowing in my living room for where the air conditioner is. And that is making some noise. That's full blast. That's making quite a bit of noise. But you wouldn't have it there going that fast while you're trying to sleep. It would keep you up. And I have field tested these myself in a tent and they will give you eight hours of, of fan time and probably much more. I have never tested these things till they went dead. Built the same way. This one's got the uh, voltmeter and capacity meter right here. And that's it. These things are very nice. You can use them in the tent. Fishing, uh, changing the oil in your car, motorcycle, just wherever. That's it. Thought I would share that, these things, with my camping friends. Because I have seen many of y'all, well, not many, quite a number. Asked about where can I get a really good fan? Let me see if I can go over the prices. Good gracious. Of parts. Anyway, I'm going to, again, if I haven't already said this, I'm going to put the description of all the parts for these things in the description. 
I did get the battery from Walmart. I got the fans from Amazon. I got the fan speed motor controller from Amazon. These are about 15 bucks. This one was 70. This one was 30. The batteries are about $25 a piece. The fan switch, excuse me, the light switch, 110 volt light switch. You might find them for a dollar. The ties, you can buy a bag of 15. I can't remember. They're not expensive. Fuse, the fuse holders and the fuses, they're cheap. I bought a box of them, can't remember the price. Uh, let, me, let me take a wild guess while we're looking. Uh, 70, 30, 100, 115, 116, 117. I'm going to say $117. You spend $117 on a commercial made fan anywhere, and you ain't going to get half of what this fan right here can do for you. So, there. Hope some people take me up on this idea, make your own, and share it with me over and out.